This is made with oil pastels, oil pastel and watercolor. Oil pastel has oil in it and it resists water. And um, this is really fun to draw. Now we're at home and we might not have everything that we would have at school. Uh, oil pastels are kind of a special thing. So I thought I would do this today with crayon instead of an oil pastel. Now, if you have oil pastels at home, go ahead and use that. This is done with a crayon because we do mostly have those at home. I looked and looked and I finally found some crayons. I was surprised uh, that I couldn't find them right away. There's dust all over this because they've been tucked away for so long. And I had to search a long time to find black for a crayon. So do your best. If you don't have everything, it's okay. So I want to show you how to draw this cute little frog. We're gonna do it step by step. Then I'm gonna show you how to paint the water part. Now our little guy is in the pond and he's floating. He, he, he's buoyant and you want to make sure that there's space between his little flipper and the ground or the, the bed of the pond because it's not gonna look as good if those little feet get too low. So just keep that in mind as we draw. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is this curve right here. It's like a rainbow. Like that. This is the trickiest part, and if you don't get this part right the first time, don't worry about it, you can just try it again. My first mark isn't always great either, so we'll see how I do. So you're gonna come around and up and over like that. So that's your start, that's his body. Now, you'll notice his shape is a little different here. It's a little rounder. You can try that. It's just gonna kinda of come out how it comes out. So, um, I'm gonna give him some eyes like this. Little eyelid and circle here, circle here. Now you can decide if he's gonna have a smile or a frown, that's up to you. I'm gonna have a smiling frog. He's cute. Now his little legs, you're gonna come out like this and like that. Now you'll notice the inside of his leg has a little curve to it and the outside of his, the bottom part of his leg is straight. So try to do that, curve and straight curve and straight like that. Now these flippers come out like that. I put a little wiggle in this one. You can do that as well. All right, so now see I asked you to keep a, a good distance between the bottom of his flipper and the bottom of the page. I didn't heed my own advice very well. So for me, the pond is gonna to have to be super low on here, so it looks like he's floating better in the water. All right, we're gonna come down line like that, line like that. Now, did I do that perfectly? One is thinner, one is thicker. It's fine. It is totally fine for it to be just how it turns out. There you go, flipper and flipper. Now, in science, a frog doesn't look like I colored this frog. A frog doesn't have stripe and bullseye parts like that um, in real life. So in science, when your teacher asks you to color a frog, you should color it the way they want you to. In art, you can kind of do some different things with it. You can put some texture and some different colors in there. Um, one student at school did a purple striped frog that I really liked. So don't feel like you have to color your frog in green. Now, we're going to make sure we color in the white part of the eye with white. Just in case you decide to make the water line up here and him under it, that white will block your paint. So just, let's just do that anyway. Let me go back in and get that a little better. So 
you'll see what I did was I did the ground because the pond has a ground area too. And then I did these little seaweed kind of things. Are there flowers usually in the water? Maybe, maybe not. I just thought they were cute. I put some little fish shapes in there. And then I decided that uh, my line is gonna be right about here in my picture. So these little flies are in the sky and that will look good. All right, so. Now what you're going to do, it would take me too long to color this with you, so I'm just going to have a pre-colored one here. What you do next is you grab blue, and you decide where the top of the water is going to be. Now, you're going to draw all the way through the frog because he is submerged into the water. He's all wet. So wherever you want to start is fine, and you're going to go all the way across him, like that. So he's barely peeking out of my pond right now and the fly is in the sky so that works out. Now some of you might have watercolor paints kind of like this. This will be frustrating for you if you use these to do the water look in our picture. What you really need is really really liquidy watercolor. I have some that I'll show you, but if you don't have a real liquid watercolor, you could just take an old Crayola marker because it's water-based, put it in the water, let it, let it lay there for a while. All the pigment will come out. See, it's not very blue anymore. It'll all come out into the water and you've made yourself some really nice watercolor paint. These are what I like to use. I ordered these. So we're kind of stuck at home today or this weekend probably, and this isn't something you might have on hand. So I'll show it to you anyway though. Just a little bit. This is really thick pigment. And I'm gonna put a little water in there. See how I'm gonna water that up. It looks a lot like what I did here with my Crayola marker, doesn't it? Okay, so if I didn't have a Crayola marker and I didn't have this at home, I could still use this, but you're going to have to put some water in a dish, spritz this with water, and then just take your brush, dip it into here, put it into the water, dip it into here, put it into the water, and just add as much of this to a little container of water as you can. Hope that made sense, don't know if it did. All right, so now from here all the way down, we're doing a watercolor wash. So I'm all the way on top of him, all the way down. Do you see how the water is beating up over that oil pastel or that crayon? Now let's go into here and see how this looks. Ooh, look, it's kind of doing the same thing. It's a little lighter. That looks cool. And you're gonna go all the way down through. I'm gonna go right back up again. Oh, this is so much fun. All right, there he is. He's hanging out in the pond. What if he made a splash? And then all of a sudden he's just in the pond. We can make a little splash on here too. You can kind of dribble some of your paint on there like that. You can take your picture, kind of go like that. Oh, and it looks like he splashed in there. Isn't that fun? All right, there you go. There's our little guy. He just splashed into the pond. He looks like he's having, having a happy day. All right, thank you for watching. Try this at home. Just use what you have.